40 years old. As a matter of fact, this is their 40 year anniversary. And it started with just a Sunday school teacher and eight young men. And it's grown to uh, meet in multiple cities now with well over, uh, I think it's approaching 20,000 people that attend uh, each Easter weekend now. So uh, the, the whole purpose of Last Leaders is to train our young people to take their talents and use them in service to God. And that's a, I mean, that's a mission that is very much at the core of the church and what the church does. Uh, there's a number of places where we're commanded to teach our children. Of course, in Deuteronomy chapter 6, it talks about teaching young people the things that God had given them. In Titus chapter 2, it talks about teaching various groups on what they should know. Of course, some of those things that they need to be taught is how to take their talents, use those talents in God's service. And that's what we've been trying to do. And that's not something that just Last Believers does. That's something that we as a church need to be doing every day, every week of the month, every week of the year, uh, along the way. We need to be teaching our young people to take their talents and use them in service to God. For the Last Believers program in particular, we have almost 90 young men and women that have participated this past year. That uh, incorporates about 44 of our families all together. So there is a really big group of, of our family that is very much a part of this. And then there's many, many others of you that have supported us in so many ways. And we want to thank you for that. Thank you for all the things that you've done. Just a few of the ways that we're developing some of the talents of our young people right now is we are we're teaching our young people to share the good news of Jesus and the good news of God through things like art and developing their tab talents in public, and singing, and speaking. And even we, we have one young man that's written just a beautiful song that he's, uh, that uh, I know hopefully one day we'll have others singing that as well. So that's one of the things that we want to do is be able to develop those talents uh, to use specifically for God. The other thing that we try to do is develop a love and appreciation and knowledge for God's Word. Several ways. One, just reading the scriptures. We encourage our young men and young ladies to read through the scriptures. The second, we have Bible Bowl, where we have a very in-depth study of particular scriptures. Uh, this year we've studied the book of Joshua, and uh, our theme for this year is Joshua 1.16. I believe it's very appropriate. Uh, Joshua 1.16, and they answer Joshua, Whatever you have commanded us, we will do, and wherever you send us, we will go. Again, that's a message that is just as fresh and new today as when Joshua uh, first heard those words from the people he was leading. So, if you would, please join us together as we worship our Lord and these young men lead us in the world.